I would like to now, um, before we end and close, we have a five minute presentation from the Mexican Space Agency. Uh, Adrian Guzman, I'm going to now bring him in. Okay, it's all yours, uh, Adrian. Well, thank you very much for the last meeting invitation. Um, um, my name is Adrian Guzman. I work for the uh, Mexican government, obviously for the Mexican Space Agency. Uh, this is gonna be just a very brief uh, comment on what the agency is and what the agency does. Um, the agency just have uh, 10 years of creation and this is our uh, second director in, in 10 years. I started working with this new administration. Uh, even though I look uh, a little bit young, uh, I have been in the industry uh, quite around for almost uh, 22, 23 years. Uh, we have the mission to, of, of redesigning the new um, national space program. Um, I was invited to work by, by the new director, uh, my boss, uh, Dr. Landeros who's the director of the Mexican Space Agency. Before that, I work in the industry. Um, uh, this is my very first time working in, in, in government. So um, my, my additions come with the, with the private sector, uh, but also with, with the academia. So the mission and vision of the Mexican Space Agency is obviously to uh, take Mexico to a new step, to a new level of, of, of development and, and of research in space and, and, and and obviously in science and technology in, in space. Uh, we want to promote the development of the space science and technology, and, and we want to, 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 to push forward with new generations. Uh, the background is that Mexico already have a, a space agency in the 60s, but uh, we let up, left aside uh, that uh, field. And um, we have, as just mentioned, just 10 years working in, in in this new um, environment, and 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 basically, what we want to do is to uh, push forward uh, three vertical and three horizontal axes: research, and industry, and development. We want to consolidate uh, new um, space centers for the for the agency for the headquarters. I mean, as many uh, national space agencies, we want to have. Uh, a new spaces for uh, working in this industry. So we have been reconditioning new scenarios for doing that and in order to attract uh, younger generations. And uh, we have been working and we have experience um, in telecommunication, radio astronomy, obviously earth observations. Uh, we are working now with nanosatellite integration, obviously uh, uh, with, with many different uh, companies around the world and with our own uh, national developments. Uh, we also work with uh, other space agencies like ESA and, and with one of our antennas working with and, 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 and obviously with the, um, with the United States uh, uh, agencies working with Landsat 8 and 9 right now. So uh, we are a very small agency. We have only 100 people. And, and we have a general uh, coordination for um, capacity development for uh, scientific uh, research, for uh, commercial and industrialization uh, and, in, and industry. I work in the international affairs and space security uh, coordination, but also we have the financing and the different directorates uh, of, in order to, 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 to run uh, the legal and the administrational aspects as any other national uh, space agency. So different backgrounds, it's uh, what we want to attract. I mean, I have been working in, as I mentioned, in the industry, industry for almost 20 years. Uh, so we want to, to, to have this change of reaction between uh, older generations, uh, middle age uh, generation and younger, younger generations in order to, to put them on, on, on the right, right track of, of, of the space uh, technologies development. Uh, as I mentioned it, we have three vertical axes and three horizontal axes. Uh, we want to work uh, specifically with uh, space communication, which is uh, one of the 
uh, as the previous panel mentioned, it one is one of the greatest opportunities for uh, any space system uh, uh, right now and in the future 10 years. Above Earth observation and space exploration, we have been working uh, actively in space exploration. We're going to have a first uh, lunar mission and at the end of, of this year and or, or hopefully uh, next year. Uh, and for that, we, we need to work with scientific research, with capacity development, obviously with the national uh, 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 regular security issues as any other country, uh, but also we want to push forward the industrial development. So for that, we, we have been uh, taking the previous infrastructure that we already have in the country and transform this infrastructure in new, uh, um, in, in new capacities, for example, we have been uh, reconditioning uh, an antenna, which was previously a communications antenna, into uh, a, a new network uh, of uh, radio astronomy uh, um, capacity. So um, we have different uh, space activities running right now. Uh, two of our main uh, activities is to um, to run uh, new space centers. Uh, Two new space centers, and 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 one of them is actually working uh, with the, one of the of the companies uh, of the previous panel, which is Nanopionics. We are running that at a, at a municipality uh, a level, so we want to to work as as government with with the different uh, working uh, um, uh, government levels. I mean, from municipality to to federal, I mean, states to to, to national level. Uh, we want to run uh, a new um, set of uh, of developments in the satellite telecommunications, which are very important for for the industry in Mexico. I mean, not not only for uh, 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 the, the 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 regular developments, but but new developments like Internet of Things and things like that. Uh, we have been working actively international cooperation in space uh, matters. Uh, I mean, uh, joining as, a, as an agency, different groups, uh, like in space exploration and, and air observation. And we also want to promote the development of Mexican uh, talent uh, in order to, to, to work in, 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 uh, in the industry, but also to push their, 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 their efforts in the, in the private uh, uh, industries. So the background of um, my, my current work right now is uh, to, to work in space exploration. This means to work closely and actively with uh, uh, experiments in the International Space Station, to push uh, future missions to the moon, and to push also uh, the development of nanosatellite uh, missions, uh, working actively with other uh, United Nations uh, uh, countries. Also, we are working in an Earth Observation Integrated uh, uh, System, which is basically working with other uh, government institutions in, in Mexico. And, and for that, we, ha we, we have been working actively with other space agencies around the world. I mean, it's part of my daily uh, job uh, basis. And to pr we also want to promote the creation of satellite image processing uh, um, solutions in-house for these new uh, two centers we are uh, uh, inaugurating hopefully this year. And we also want to promote Mexico uh, uh, as, as uh, uh, in their own capacities, or its own capacity, sorry, for uh, uh, integrating a satellite observation uh, um, system. So uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we have priority programs. Those are satellite communications, air observation and space exploration. But we also in regulatory framework, uh, in international cooperation, in promotion and development for uh, uh, the Mexican talent and the industrial development. So this is an image of one of our new centers, which is going to be uh, inaugurated uh, uh, this year. Uh, we also want to push forward for uh, uh, next uh, 10 years. So we have another center, uh, which uh, different uh, research and development centers uh, um, adjacent or, or uh, situated in the same uh, industrial park. And, and we have been pushing forward the development of, of nano and, and, and pico and micro satellites uh, in Mexico. And, and we are currently working with, with almost uh, 10. 
uh, the ASTICSAT, which was launched uh, last year, and we, we are pushing forward for a new one. Uh, the D2 Atlacom, which is one of the uh, satellites I mentioned before, working uh, with one of the companies of the previous panel, uh, one of the uh, national university uh, satellites, which was uh, sent in orbit uh, today. Uh, uh, two other uh, satellites that uh, we were running, uh, well, not basically the, the agency, but that we were working and, and, and um, uh, collaboratively together with, uh, with, with other um, national agencies in Mexico. Uh, and we have uh, uh, one, two, three, uh, four uh, new missions uh, program for the 21 and 22 SPAM and also a multinational initiative, which is intended to be a, a flag or a representative project for uh, what has been pushed as a new Latin American space agency effort, at least as a collaborative uh, level. So this is uh, the main message of, of the Mexican space agencies to uh, help uh, new generations. I mean, as I mentioned before, I have been around for almost 20 years, but that doesn't mean that uh, new generations uh, uh, doesn't have an opportunity to work uh, with uh, the Mexican Space Agency as an agency. I mean, we want to attract uh, new uh, generations to work in the in the industry. And that will be my final uh, message. Thank you very much, Tony, for the opportunity to share a little bit of what uh, is the agency and how we have been working on it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, get in touch soon with you as well uh, for future collaborations. And uh, if the Mexican uh, Space Agency would like to join the Exospace Alliance, of course, for the space agencies, it's a free of charge uh, membership. All the, all the, all the best. Take care and uh, wish you well. So can I please uh, call Betty uh, on board? And also Camille, if you can show yourself. And this is our last uh, this is going to be our last uh, session to say goodbye to our attendees. Uh, let me first uh, do that by showing you something uh, on my screen. And before I do that, I would like to say the picture I just took of the three of us. Hi, right. uh, so I'll show you on the screen what we have achieved today. We have achieved a registration of 605 people just a few minutes ago from 63 different countries uh, distributed, as you can see, uh, in those ranges uh, in terms of numbers of people from each of the countries. On average, we have achieved approximately about 100, 110 people constantly uh, present at each of the panels, which is something which is good. Uh, um, we see that, in fact, in real physical conferences where you have about at least 100, 150 people attending a specific panels. So all the panels consistently have achieved those numbers. So I'm done, and I'm going to pass the floor to the chairman of the Access Space Alliance. I would like to thank everyone for attending. It's been a fantastic uh, day and a half uh, with the free sessions and the opportunity to uh, learn new things, to discuss new items, and to have new ideas. That is developing, I think, in some instances in plans of work for the membership of the Access Space Alliance. So I can only invite you to all to come and join us um, and celebrate and carry on on these activities. Um, last year, we were due to go to Portugal uh, as a real place for an event, and unfortunately, COVID prevented us to do that. Um, this year, we've got the uh, conference, which is virtual, uh, because we decided to press ahead, even though uh, it, it would have been difficult to, uh, to meet uh, in person. Uh, I really hope that eventually we'll be able to do an in-person event. In the meantime, we'll organize uh, still some webinars, some activities. So we've got the members meetings. Uh, I would like to take this 
opportunity to thank, uh, first of all, Tony for the amazing effort that is put behind the event in organizing it, preparing everything uh, and, uh, and being the anchor for the past two days. Christian, who uh, has been uh, very uh, helpful, especially on the sorting out the website, is the third director. Unfortunately, he was taken by business away from the conference, apart from the first uh, couple of sessions. So, uh, uh, but he's been working uh, in advance to prepare for the website in particular and organize a couple of sessions. The um, other person that would like to really Thank you, Scanny, was been fantastic uh, on board uh, with a very little time of notice and very uh, uh, and good dedication. She's been working round the clock to prepare the logistics uh, behind and you uh, probably will have received some communication uh, for Camille. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's been amazing. You're doing uh, amazing. Uh, I would like to thank the sponsors. We've got the three sponsors that came forward. Uh, as Tony said, we are volunteering, so um, any, any support is helpful to ensure the sustainability of the organization. The other thing we're doing is that in addition to us three directors, uh, we are establishing a council that will um, support the sustainability of the organization and really the ownership of the members of the organization. So really, if you want to contribute, shape the uh, Access Space Alliance, shape the next conference, come and join the council. That's an opportunity to you. Come and join the organization. Um, so I would like to thank all the moderators who have been instrumental in ensuring that the panels were exciting, they were great, there were a lot of information. We would like to thank the speakers who've done an amazing job into uh, preparing and into presenting. Everything will be available as sessions on the YouTube channel. Uh, there will be uh, some opportunities for you to watch again uh, because we really put an effort into trying to be global, uh, you will have seen that the times may not, not have suited everyone. And it's different to have uh, uh, people waking up, uh, difficult to have people waking up at three in the morning to try to watch sessions. So uh, the YouTube channel is an opportunity to, to get that around uh, and, uh, and review everything. So I hope you've enjoyed the conference as much as we have. Uh, maybe we'll do, uh, Camille will help us prepare in the first uh, next few days, a little poll survey uh, that you can complete and, and give your feedback. Um, I, I was very impressed by the session we organized yesterday on the drinks at chats. I think it worked nicely and probably something that we're going to do more uh, for the members meeting as well as maybe as different meetings. So um, uh, after all that uh, uh, very um, uh, interesting day and a half, amazing uh, number of people who've registered, amazing number of participants, um, I think it's, uh, it's a fantastic event. Tony, do you have anything else to... Uh... I just wanted to show you the slides from yesterday from the chat we did with about 25 different people who joined us to welcome uh, with a drink. So pretty much uh, a mix of people from different countries, I have to say. So from, from the United States all the way to Ukraine, uh, Middle East as well, Egypt. Uh, we had quite a few people yesterday evening um, taking a drink with us. So anyway, we'll uh, hope to see you soon and uh, join us as well. Those that are interested to present in a webinar, or a roundtable for a specific discussion or particular topic, just email to, email to me, uh, Tony at access.space. you find my email on the chat box. And if you want to provide any feedback, uh, please send it to us by email as well. Take care and all the best. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. See you soon.